Lately, we have been getting a lot of comments when we're seen with our children. Most of them are very kind. But the one we get the most sounds a little like this. I wish my kids were like that again. It goes by so fast. Or a little like this. Those were the best days when you have them so small. You're their favorite person. Enjoy it. This has been happening a lot. This recently happened just the other day in our little trip to St. Augustine. There was a couple walking by with their older child. They stopped and admired our little kids and said one of these quotes. It's true, this season brings lots of tired days, challenges, tears, requiring lots of patience. But I believe that it is what real love is all about. Love that will sacrifice. Love that has no end. Love that will make us grow. Our children have transformed our soul. They are a precious treasure. This recently just happened in St. Augustine and it made us want to enjoy our trip so much more. Louis and I have accepted this season to love deeper and grow more in love. We thought we were patient, but now we realize we have to learn to be even more patient. Loving our children requires us to be intentional, really committing to love deeply. It's important for us to plant truth, beauty, and goodness in their little hearts, building thriving relationships in our family means carefree time. Slowing down to appreciate my child's gifts, their smile, to be aware of their pureness, allowing them to explore and ask questions. This is not an easy task. Slowing down as parents to listen to these questions, to take the time to smile back and make eye contact. When we read stories together as family, when we forgive each other, we explore new places. When the world is tempting us to be so distracted and look somewhere else. Love the smell of my baby boy or kissing all my kids' cheeks, holding them so tight. There is a quote I love by Mother Teresa. Children are like kites. You will teach them to fly, but they will not take your flight path. You will teach them to dream, but they will not dream your dream. You will teach them to live, but they will not live your life. Yet in every flight, in every dream, and in every life, the mark of the teachings that have been received will always remain. Carefree time allows us to build thriving relationships in our family. No looking at the clock. We might not have it all 
but simply being together, we have it all. The clock of life is ticking. When it will stop, we don't know. Each morning, we can ask ourselves, how can I be better for my family today? More patient, more loving, more present. It's truly our children who have been teaching us how to live and how to love. Time will go by so fast, but what a gift to cherish the moments trusted up to us by God. Moments we will hold in our hearts forever and beyond.